Okay. I want to see what that means. It's got me a little worried, I'm not going to lie. Harmful to humans. While in this part of the zone, humans will feel harmful effects even more profoundly, whether driving or on foot. All right, so I guess that just means we're going to get hurt more. So I don't think I want to dilly-dally in this place. We learned the plasma charger. And the Mark II Liberator. I also made the armored car door. And the armored panel. Mostly because they're prerequisites for better stuff later. I found the biggest ass dumpster pill I've ever seen in my life. And a pickpocket decided to bring us back our shit. Had a little bit of trouble grabbing it because this little magnet thingamadoodle was in the way. At first I thought this was an extra resource scanner. And then I realized, hey, this is my resource scanner. What the hell? After I attached it, the bastard punched me in my face for the trouble. Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to go out and uh, continue uh, the mission, the Visions mission. Um, so that is the main goal for today's episode. But uh, before we get started, a couple things. Um, I have uh, a couple of dumpster pearls here uh, that I want to grind up, including this enormous um, one that I found. Look, look how big this thing is. It's huge. Uh, so let's put that in there. See what we get out of it. A whole mess of steel. Lots of batteries. My goodness, that's a lot of stuff. And we got a, a cam ooh, a camo decal kit. That could be cool. Um What would that look like if we applied it to the chassis of the vehicle. Hmm. I like the camo, but I don't know if it goes real well with our blue color. What does it look like on the hood? Wait, what? What's, what's up with that blue patch? Um, this is actually, you know what? I'm kind of digging this. Oh, I camoed the gas cap there. That's weird. We can't camo tires, can we? No. Didn't wouldn't think so. Yeah, let's let's run with camo for a bit. I like that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> it won't let us do the bumper, will it? Nope. Me likey. Me likey. Okay. Um do I have room for this in here? Uh this is a three slot thingy, so no I don't. Okay. Uh let's also stick this other 
uh, dumpster pearl in here. It's a lot of shite. Okay. And uh, we'll put this camel thingy in here. And we'll pick all that stuff up. I wish it would spit the basketball out too. Okay, um, let's get caught up on our logs, and I also have uh, one video log uh, to play for you. What does this say? Oh, that is what it says. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, as usual, I'll put the timestamp in for when the reading is over for those of you who want to fast forward. Uh, let's see what we got here. So we've got a new anomaly called a corrosive squall. Uh, for many, acid rain has been an environmental hazard for years, but for those within the zone, it's an outright existential threat arriving with little warning and incredible almost supernatural intensity okay uh cough box it's difficult you know i mean what do you tell a guy's mom do you say sorry mrs baker your son is just a glob of goo now do you say it wasn't an entirely meaningless death though scientists probably got some data from it do you say i saw him dissolved right in front of my eyes but a lot of his clothing is still okay here's his superhero shorts <laughs> Jeez. Uh, he just ran into the thing. It was so pointless. I feel bad for her. They're asking why it won't be in an open casket. For Christ's sake, you could pour him into a jar. You might as well pump him into the coffin. Sad? No. I say way worse things in the war, and they happened to people I cared about a lot more. This guy, this guy was a jerk. So you want me to see how that new Poitier <laughs> uh, movie? That guy's slick. Um, Sydney Poitier. Poitier? Poitier. Sorry. Yeah, I think that's Poitier. Yeah, I know. I'm terrible at French. Um, okay. Yeah, so those were two anomalies that we that we ran into. Uh, well, no, we didn't run into... Uh, well, we didn't run into this, because apparently that's really bad juju. Um, this acid rain did hit us at one point, and it did hurt. Uh, pernicious pickpockets. This is an environmental thing. Anomalies known for stealing things are even more larcenous in this part of the zone. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, this plastic power pod thing it was kind of these big orange bubble dealios on like the underneath part of a bridge uh, but they were up really high so I don't know if that's something I'm supposed to be able to do something with um, oh and another thing we're installing new transformers and battery farms across all facilities as of this week folks this is an extensive upgrade that's going to take a few months now, uh, you're going to notice a few things, uh, no, sorry, a few changes in some of the technology we implement. We're switching out some transformers. We're using shielded systems wherever we can now because interference is so bad, and uh, we're trying a new type of battery. Some of you will be cleared to work with this technology, and some of you won't. But I can't skirt around this one. Whether you're allowed to work with it or not, you're sure as hell going to notice it anyway. I trust you well enough at this point to know you won't ask questions that you know you shouldn't, or ask your friends or your colleagues anything that puts them in a difficult position. Just know that technology moves fast these days, and when you need to know, we'll let you know. The slim stuff has been good to us, and it's part of our job to respect the rules and keep confidence. Okay? So, got that, everyone? I'll speak more on this with those of you who cleared... Uh, those of you cleared for the limb briefi briefing at midday. Everyone else, keep your heads down. Got that? Okay, yeah, so those, these are these big bubbly-looking orange thingamadoodles um, in the marsh. It was just really bizarre. Um, antennas. Undiscovered. Uh, no, wait, what? Yeah, we've only discovered two of those. I don't know why that popped up. Oh, decals, never mind. Camo. Now you see me, now you don't. Legal note, camouflage decals provide no protection against anomalies or zone conditions. Paints. Gold paint. So 70s that it's almost disco. This most decadent of colors will see you glittering like flesh, fresh champagne. Flow through the forest like wine from a flute. All right, that gets us caught up uh, with those. Here's the uh, video log. How do you force 100,000 people out of their homes without facing major resistance? Even if you're the United States government, Facing down what's being peddled as the greatest threat our nation has ever faced, the answer is, you don't. This is Frequency File, Episode 3, The Human Cost.
Last episode, I reported all the cold, hard facts I could get my hands on. If you missed that episode, here's the summary. There wasn't much. Now, we jump tracks to the stories of the people to knit together old records and eyewitness accounts to form some fabric of the true story. Whoever's job it was at Arda to suppress stories did a really good job. What they did to keep that sheer number of people from talking and then to smear the stories that did come out was a masterstroke of obfuscation. Unfortunately for Arda, the cases that made it all the way to court became public records. And the facts were these. Arda played nice at first with a generous relocation package. They offered cold, hard cash and built sprawling housing complexes in nearly every state to resettle the former residents. These new communities were built as idyllic, white picket-fenced neighborhoods where you were sure to be surrounded by all American families who shared your same values while enjoying the benefits of government-subsidized grocery stores, school districts, and manicured public parks. Not a bad deal from the looks of things. When it came to the holdouts, the people who wouldn't leave for any amount, things got ugly. But in the end, the government won out, as it always does. And while the government has the sovereign right to seize private property, the Fifth Amendment mandates just compensation be paid for it. But it doesn't specify when or how this compensation be made, and many dissenters ended up with nothing through good old loopholes and bureaucracy, some of whom are still pursuing their claims to this day. But the chilling thing is, those left with empty pockets consider themselves lucky. There is a saying they mutter amongst themselves under their breath. And at least they have the luck to not live in Sierra. All right. I think we're ready to set out here. Uh, the car is in tip top condition. Um, and I have in here a lot of extra tools and repair kits and gas and blow torches and food and medical. Um, yeah, lots of good stuff in there. And one of the things uh, that I really need to find is what's called tree candy. And we need to continue gathering more swamp coral. I needed the tree candy for something. <laughs> I don't remember what it was now. Um, something that we wanted to make. So I don't even know what tree candy is. I haven't seen it. haven't come across it. Or if I have, I haven't noticed it. So we need to be on the lookout for that. As usual, the goal here is going to be to get into... Um, the, the zone here with as minimal damage as possible. Easier said than done, I know. But that's where we're going. So it looks like we could do the highway route. But then we're going to have to go through th here with anomalous clouds, eerie darkness, and swift storms. But a decent amount of um, corrupt power, or not corrupt power, but uh, the other kind of power. Um, or we go through this one, gravity, battery sapping, and also swift storms. It does not appear... Oh, you know what, though? Maybe we could go here, up through here and over there. Harmful to humans. That doesn't sound good. But we are, we are bypassing these really nasty zones. Hmm. I don't even know what anomalous clouds are. I don't think we figure out that out till we actually get to the zone and then it log, you know, puts it in our log. Uh, yeah, harmful to humans. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. Um. But. I think we're going to maybe take our chances with that and uh, just see what happens. Okay. Let's go. I'm probably forgetting something, but as usual, I don't know what it is. Uh, very much enjoying my new turbo light engine. I took it out for a spin, you know, off camera there, mostly to gather more uh, swamp eggs and that sort of thing. But yeah, it's uh, it's very nice. Faster acceleration, faster high end speed, top end speed, all that good stuff. Okay, so yeah, let's go to here, up here, and then to there. 
Now, the nice thing about this zone, once we do get to it, is it has perpetual stability. So we don't have any environmental or junction conditions messing with us. Um, so hopefully we'll have some time, you know, to, to really loot that zone and get, you know, get the resources and that sort of thing we need. So again, the, the goal is to just try and get there uh, without getting the shit kicked out of us as much as possible. Let's avoid this rambling wreck thing, Medulla, or whatever the hell it's called. I know we're insulated, but we still take damage even from, you know, some damage from electrical attacks, so we might as well try and keep the car in as good a shape as we can. Let's take a quick stop there. Avoiding the left and right. Let's jump in here really quick. Because I'm using, um, you know, putty less and less to to uh, repair, I am starting to be able to accumulate some chemi a few more chemicals than before, which is good. And I think that's it for in here. Okay. There goes the car doing the little bouncy bounce thing again. Investigator here. Those usually get good things. We got some chemicals and some crystals. I'll take that. Uh, that's just a crude panel. I think what I'll do is break the headlight down because I'm using insulated headlights now anyway. Get the parts from that. And what the hell, we might as well do the same thing with this. Alright. Um, you have an armored door. And I am... I'm gonna... I'm thinking about switching two armored panels, uh, or maybe even better. Um, there it goes again! Free limb power! Don't, I still haven't figured out why that happens. Uh, I don't, it's not a bad thing, you know, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I love it, but I just don't understand it. That was 1.3 Kalim, nice. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, oh, any chance you might have a, a crystal for us, dude? Since you're there, put all that stuff in there. Um, where is... Where's my flare guns? Right here. You're supposed to be in that slot. Okay. He dropped some plastic. Uh, don't see a crystal around, though. I've noticed sometimes when you blow these guys up, the crystals can land quite a ways away from where they were. <laughs> Alright, anyway, back to this. Um, uh, like I was saying, I, I'm thinking about moving a uh, switch into armored panels or radiation protection panels for the marsh, because it doesn't seem to be a whole lot of electrical damage in the marsh. So... I don't know, though, if we're going to be able to have enough room to take one of these back whole, but I'm going to 
I'm going to, um... I'm going to try it, and, you know, if we end up not able to... Yeah, don't forget to come back and get that. God, that scared me. <laughs> um, you know, if it turns out, wait, we're just not going to have room for it, then I'll just break it down and at least get the, you know, the stuff for it. Okay. All right. Do you have one on this side, too? No, you don't. All right. What are we... Why do I keep dropping that? Oh, because I don't have room in my inventory. All right, let's put this back in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, this stuff, too. Alright, and we're off. Okay, this is the place that has... Oh! This just has shocking speed. Uh, where's the place that has the damage to humans? I don't know. Okay. Well, we got a couple of little power nodes that are right along the road on the, our route, so we'll grab those and then we'll keep on moving here. Oh, don't be pointing towards those spikes. Instead, it takes us right into the... Oh, no, that I thought that was um one of those plasma thingies, but it's not... Um, man, I'm kind of tempted to get the electronics and the lead from those. I think we should, uh, because if I'm going to start making lead panels, I'm going to need that shit. that extra, well, what is it, 40% protection against radiation was super handy there. Um, and what we can do is we can press F uh, to heal, but it does use some battery power, but we've got, we've got pretty good battery uh, recharge capability and extra batteries and stuff like that. Uh, all right, I think we're ready to motor motivate. We're going to have a place we can loot down here, and then we're going to need to take um, a left turn on a dirt road. I'm not going to go down south here and loot those things. So we've got to get around this airstrip. You know, this storm um, and the radiation that we just had has caused a little bit of damage to our car. And uh, we just happen to have a beating heart over here, so let's get some free heals. Might as well, right? Okay. It didn't completely heal us, but it did heal some. Or repair, I guess I should say. Repair, heal, heal, repair. Kind of the same thing. Watch out for the spiky spikes. Oops, I hit the wrong thing there. Oh, not good. Well, actually, maybe... Maybe that was good. It kind of propelled us out of the mess there. Uh, okay, let's just go 
Oh, don't land on the spikes. Yeah, okay, I think we're good. <laughs> Actually, that was fairly gentle. I mean, it probably did a tiny bit of damage, but... What the hell's wrong with our engine again? This is a brand new engine. For Pete's sake, man. It's probably a spark plug issue again. All right, um, we need to make an electrician's kit to fix that. There we go. Maybe, maybe that happened from all the bouncing around that we did. Okay, I'm going to grab um, some more lead here. come from I have no idea all right um, let's grab the new plasma thingy oh shit scared me those guys always scare me just come out of nowhere rude Okay, I think we need to go get the the power. I think I don't want these guys like right next to the car. Not that that matters because they might end up moving right next to the car anyway. And I did not mean to press that button. There we go. Do a little more extra damage to our car because why the hell not? I'm my worst enemy. Jeez. Now, you guys get, whoop, damn it. Get out of here. Hey, look at that, we got a crystal. All right, let's just see if we can get another one. I didn't even shoot that guy. Gal, thing. All right, well, hey, we got one crystal out of the deal. I'll trade a, a flare for a crystal any day. comes a storm. It's okay. This next one is right where we need to go, so shouldn't have any trouble getting it and getting the hell out of here. Oh, there's... Oh! Hey, 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 look at this. stuff. Um, I, was, I had a thought. I don't remember what my thought was now. Where did I get this? Has that been in my inventory all along? I don't know. I'll take it though. Okay, let's go. Let's get a little froggy out.
How's that storm doing? Yeah, it's... We got time. I'm gonna grab the lead from this. Nice, there's another um, thingamadoodle over there too. Ooh, that's a pretty good sized uh, dumpster. Dumpster thingy. Oh, I guess we don't have lead here. Let's suck those bulbs out of there though. Okay, let's... Oh, there is lead over there, actually. Let's do this, though. Let's go... Uh, grab whatever heals we can from this other beating heart. What's going on? We have a problem with you, and we also have a broken window, so we need two sealant kits. I have one. That one seems to be healing for a lot, which is great. heal that much. We should be like at perfect health. Except for it's not. Oh, maybe it's done. It just sounds like it's still. No, it isn't done. Why didn't we get our back hatch? Do we oh 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 we have to actually be pointing towards the green stuff. I didn't think that mattered. It does matter. Okay, well, that's good to know. We've got a fully repaired car. That is a beautiful thing. All right, let's go this way. And we'll go grab the lead from here, and then we still have some power to get. Uh, we do need to be cognizant of the storm, though. Once the yellow shit gets to us, I think it does start to do a little bit of minor damage to us. Okay, we need to get cruising here. I'm going to leave that lead just because we're running out of time. Did that get unassigned? That doesn't make sense. I don't understand how that got unassigned. But since it did, let's just touch up. Okay, I think we're good. We need to go. Now, is this the zone that has dangerous to humans? Oh, we have another option here. Okay, so we're here. 
Yeah, that's harmful to humans. Uh, it's still our most direct route, though, to get to here. Um, we have unstable anchor, not very, very many, but we do have beating hearts, which is good for healing or for repairing. Um, a couple of unrecognized things, and some kind of vehicle that we haven't found yet. Okay, well, let's just go and see what happens. Hopefully, um, whatever harmful to humans means, it's something we can survive. At least the car's in tip-top condition. Okay. I want to see what that means. It's got me a little worried, I'm not going to lie. Harmful to humans. While in this part of the zone, humans will feel harmful effects even more profoundly, whether driving or on foot. Alright, so I guess that just means... We're going to get hurt more. So... I don't think I want to dilly-dally in this place. Uh, let's just get to the zone that has the stable stability. <laughs> uh, we will stop, though, and get the, the power. weather we're having. Um, let's see. I think what I'm going to do is let's drive to here and then we'll see if that's uphill or downhill. into that can opener. Okay, so there doesn't appear to be... Oh, there is radiation. There wasn't a moment ago. Oh, man. I don't know. Should we... I'll tell you what, we're going to leave the small one, but we're going to see if we can get the big one. Crap, there's one of those armored cars, too. I just, uh, I don't want to die. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I just don't want to die. Okay, so, the power is... Off to our left. Yeah, I see it up there on the hill. Uh, you know what I think I'm going to do? Let's... Whoops. Um, let's just wait out this storm. Of course, it's not registering any radiation now. Okay. What happens if we get out? Do we get hurt? Hey, we're getting our batteries recharged. Let's make sure we... Uh, I guess we do have a full thing of health kits. All right, let's just go for it and see what happens. Oh, what the hell is that? That's new. Oh, I guess it's just fireflies or something. All right, we don't seem to be taking any damage. We just got a, one of them barnacle thingies. Hopefully that shit doesn't land on top of our head. That can't be healthy. Okay, let's go.
All right. Yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the smaller power there. It's not it's not worth it. We could probably get it okay, but let's just get the hell out of here so we can get into our main zone in the best condition possible. Let that thing go by. We'll tell this uh, abductor to fuck off if he tries to mess with us, but it doesn't look like he's going to. Windy road. I would really like to get those eggs. Um, we don't have any deadly storms coming in. There's no radiation outside. So let's grab them. Batteries are fully charged. That's awesome. Uh, no, we're not going to loot any buildings. And we are out. Okay. We did a pretty damn good job of getting here, guys, with the minimal damage to ourselves. Um, I'm hoping that that not, oh wow, look at how much uh, unstable power there is here too. I'm hoping that that not recognized salamander thingy in the lower left hand corner is tree candy. There's also some kind of a vehicle that we need to scan as well. That went pretty damn good though. Perpetual stability. Are you ready, driver? Okay, first off, I've loaded up three locations on your ARC device map. You see them? Yep. Hey, head to whichever strikes your fans. Okay. You, you're sending them to the visions? Sure am. We're going to use this. My optical vasilizer. Vasilizer? We shouldn't use that. Why not? I, I mean, it's, it's been decades. It, it, no way that thing is in any sort of working shape. I've been fixing her up in secret, and I'm sorry. Don't be mad. It's gonna be a surprise for your birthday. Is this like <laughs> scannable? Oh, I've gone ahead and made an itty bitty modification to your I gotta find driver. tree candy. I don't know what the hell I've it is. I've hooked up the basilizer here to modulate your scan function. Think of it like, uh, or like an extra layer of mayonnaise on your technology sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> mayonnaise on my uh, technology what, what sandwich? That's funny. For? I think that's funny. Uh, no spoilers. We have to tell the story from the beginning. Drive. Get ready to feast your eyes on the visions. <laughs> the visions. Okay. We shall do that after we loot the absolute crap out of this place. We're going to save the visions for last because it'll probably trigger shit. Oh, the painter. So we told you about the mass hallucination. Hundreds of people, 30 seconds of crazy, yada yada. But there was one instance where that event and the remnants intersected. The story of Laura Cesari. Laura worked at Arda as an executive secretary. She put in her hours, but she spent her evenings with a real passion. Painting. Painting. When the hallucination event swept through, Laura was overtaken like everyone else. But for her, the visions didn't stop. She tried to oh her, shit! But grew frustrated at it. Oh, we're lucky. <laughs> what she saw. Now at first, I didn't even see that. Is one of the many whose brains got scrambled by what they saw, until Laura stumbled across a rusty can of paint in the woods. It was a remnant 
Once she started using this paint, the visions in her paintings began to come true. She painted feverishly for over a year, chasing the visions the entire time. Until the day the paint ran empty. And then she disappeared. Like all remnant holders do. Now that we know the remnants in the mass hallucination. That makes me related, feel better. Maybe Laura's visions can help us out. Okay, so these both of these are two pretty good sized unstable power thingies. Alright, let's go grab this one. I don't see anything weird happening around the car at the moment. Oh, let's grab let's check out this investigator too. I wouldn't like... Oh, jeez, yeah. Oh, there's some candy. All right, you know what? Glass is not important. Plastic's not important. Rubber's not important. Uh, cloth is not super important. These are important. Um, and that we can hold in our hands. The rest of this stuff is not that big of a deal. Oh, God, what was that? Dude, get the frick out of here, man. You son of a... We're gonna have to come back for the... the power anyways, and actually... Let's get a crystal off this. Dude, leave me alone. I don't need to rest that stuff here. Every phenomena that occurs here leaves its fingerprint forever on the physical space. So he created this device to pick up on these sub physical after effects. How did you explain it? It was like identifying a whale's favorite color using only the wake it leaves behind. The rest was science mumbo jumbo. It's a form of electromagnetic imprint. Anyway. A long time ago. Leave me alone, you big meanie. And what a better time than now to try it again. Oh, he's okay. He's going back. I, I, yeah, I don't want to get near the bubble gum, buddies. You son of a bitch! Leave me alone. He's really got a boner for me, doesn't he? Okay, um, maybe what we ought to do then is go around this way. I don't care if he attacks the car because I can limb pulse him. Are you going to attack the car? Oh! Damn. I keep having close calls with those things. Damn bubble gums are over there too. Okay, uh what do we do? How do we play this? Can I throw a flare and dis dis distract those guys? They didn't s no, they didn't steal anything from me. Not yet anyway. It's like he's not even after me. Okay. The bubblegum things have moved away for the moment. Let's just run up and grab this quick. This is the most important thing. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't... It's almost like they're being distracted by the... Um... By this thing. And they can't quite get me. I don't know, let's just go. Can I pick that up? Yep. I feel much safer in the car, that's for sure. Okay, don't back up into that shit. Okay, so, we want to stay away from the pickpockets because they're going to steal our shit. Um, I think what we do is... Let's just go get the rest of the power first before we do any, uh, anything else. Okay. Uh, we need to go get that coral too. So we'll go get the rest of the power before we do anything else except for getting coral on the way there. Because that's how you do that kind of thing. Are you? Okay, uh... Are you gonna stay away from me? Wait. Okay, yeah, I think... I think we lost those guys. Alright, let's get as much coral as we can. I'm about ready to lose my... vac here, but I've got a... I've got a normal vac as a backup. We need a lot more of this stuff for several things. We need it for our large backpack. We need it for uh, some of the floodlights that we wanted to install, like the one that will track our head movement. Okay, that's it for that one. Guy's making me nervous as hell. Alright, let's grab this back. Hopefully the little one still works okay for this. Yeah, it does. Oh, he broke the coral, you bastard. It kind of, the coral kind of protected us though. That one piece there doesn't want to come loose for some reason. Is that all of it? Nope, we got another thingy right here. I think that's it. Alright, I'm just gonna do one more little suction. Yeah, see, right there. We would have missed that one entirely. Okay, so that gives us a total of 87 more coral, which is pretty good. That does not suck. All right, let's... Oh, we got more coral over there. Okay, I'm going to pick up as much of this stuff as we can. Turn that off. This will save gas too. I'll wait for it to pop back out. Let's 
seems to like disappear when we look directly at it, but then it comes back. Yeah, that's kind of high up for the smaller vacuum. There we go. up there. I think that's it. And we had one down in the water. Okay, nice. So now we have 80, we have 123. It's a beautiful thing. Still need to know what tree candy is. I'm just, I, I just don't know what to look for, right? I mean, obviously it's probably gonna be in a tree of some sort. Okay. Let's move towards the power. and shit. I don't think that stuff moves, though. Let's right. vamanos. here for a moment and look at the map and the next area we want to go to is pretty much right in between those two guys a lot of places we could loot but I mean we can loot places like that in the uh, the outer zone I, I want, want to focus more on zone specific stuff except for that we are going to grab the armored panels off of this this guy. Now, do I happen? Uh, do I have room for another big panel in here? I do. Okay. Like I said before, though, if, if it turns out that. Uh, you know, that we need to break one of these down to make space, we can do that. Uh, I guess it's six and one and a half dozen together. All right. I dropped my... I dropped my, um, my, uh, thingy. What did I do with it? You know, that I can, I can never think, remember what it's, oh, no, I didn't. It's right here. I put that back there. All right. Now, um, we definitely don't have room for a third one, so we're going to break the rest down and just get the crystals. Have that stuff too. If we have room for it. Now we also we do have some room in here actually. Um I think what I'll do though is I'm going to completely fill this one up first before we start trying to put stuff in there. Or what we could do, here let me look at this again. 
We could take things that we're not likely to get another one of anytime soon and put them in here. I am aware of my health in case anybody's concerned about that. Um, do we have room to put one of these dumpster pearls in here? Mm. Yes. Love the auto sort, man. And then there's room for a couple of skinny things right there. So that freed up some space for sure. Um, since this is a full thing of coral, we can put that in there. Uh, we have a full thing of copper wire and a full thing of lead. There. So this is completely f filled up now. And we're going to need to actually, you know, if, if this wears out on us before we're done with our, our run here, then we'll be able to take one of those out too, which will free up even more space. Okay, so we're doing pretty good overall. Doing pretty good overall. Let's get in here. Um, let's see. We don't quite have a full battery charge. So I think I'm going to uh, use cheap healing for now. Because why not? Okay, that'll get us close to topped off. And yeah, let's go and get the rest of the power. We need to look for a, a fuel station too. I mean, I got lots of reserve fuel. Oh, by the way, some of you may have already mentioned this in the comments from the last video, but I realized that that gas reservoir that I have, I have to actually siphon the gas out of there. The gas distill distillery thing. Um, and I didn't know that. I, th I thought it would just, like, automatically feed into the car. So, yeah. There is that. And I really should be using that first because then it gives it a, an opportunity to, you know, to fill back up. Alright, so we should have two... Oh, look at the marsh eggs, too. Nice. We should have two of these right next to each other. Yeah, we're getting kind of low on fuel. Fuck off, dude. Man, is he going to be hanging out here the whole time? Alright, where's the other... Where's the other power? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Well, let's grab this one first. I'm a little concerned about that abductor. Oh, wrong door. And let's grab this one. Okay. Let's get back in here. And limb pulse that guy off of us and you too get out of here all right i think i'm gonna leave we had a bubble gun stick to us too i'm gonna leave the area because it got pretty hot from us picking both of those things up and you know we'll find some eggs somewhere else hopefully those guys we're far enough away for those guys to leave us alone any components did we no I think we're good okay first order business is grab these okay wait for it
Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of our fuel cans and we're going to fill this up and we're going to siphon the gas out of here. Oh shit. You know what? I forgot about that. In order for me to use that, I have to go into here and turn off um, this, because otherwise it thinks I want to swap the part, which is stupid. That's something they need to fix. And then I can siphon out of here. Yeah, but this little fuel synthesizer, man, it holds a lot of gas. It's like basically two, almost two large gas cans full of fuel, so it's awesome. And it doesn't take super long to, to fill back up either. Nice. Okay. Uh, if we come across a gas station later, we'll refill. Um, or, I mean, if you can see that this is already starting to fill up. <laughs> Look at it, man. I think that's, honestly, I think that's a little OP. I'm not complaining per se, but it does seem a little OP. Just, just throwing that out there. Okay. Anyway, um, so we picked up all the power in the zone. So we accomplished our first goal. And we have a total of 9.6 KLIM. Some of that's stable power though. So I think I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is I think I'm gonna cut the video or no, I think I'm gonna wrap up the episode here. And we're gonna pick up right where we left off in the next episode. But what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna drive around and gather up some more resources off camera but I will keep my uh, I'll keep my finger ready to hit the record button if something uh, significant happens uh, but basically I just want to drive around and you know collect as many coral and swamp eggs if po as I can if I do discover the tree candy I'll definitely show that on camera but otherwise the plan will be when we start up the next episode uh, we'll be at the point where I'm pretty much done gathering resources and we'll start doing the the vision quests um and we'll go from there okay so thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode Bye bye